Hey guys, just a quick video on the Acom 2000 amplifier. So, on startup, I've had a high voltage uh, reading on the heater, and the heater um, voltage is 14.4 uh, volts, <clears throat> and that is a result, as I have determined it, that there's 242 volts coming out of my socket. And the tappings on the transformer here are set for 220 volts. So um, I'm going to attempt to change the tapping so that the, the ratio come out the secondary. You know, the, the ratio's changed slightly, so what's coming out the secondary should be a little bit less. Okay, so obviously the number of turns uh, has to drop a little bit. Okay, so at this transformer is seeing, or is supposed to see 220 to give it the correct output. Uh, and this affects not only uh, the heater voltage, but it affects everything else that, that requires the power from from the, the secondary side of that transformer. So I'm going to do that now, and then I will. I might be able to pause if I'm going to give us a pause. Right. Okay. So just just playing again. You can see here. Um, that this this bar here has to be basically come off. I've checked the wire diagram. I don't have the wire diagram in front of me actually. Um, yeah, I do have it. I just found it here actually on YouTube. So uh, as you can see, there's the two forty volt. Uh, the way the lights got to set up. That's what it's set up at just now two twenty. Um, so uh, just going to um, disconnect those, connect it up, and change the output or the secondary. Okay. Okay, so just changed that link over and that, that took a couple of minutes. So very quick to do. So all we have to do is now start uh, putting this transformer back in, buttoning it up, lifting it off this heavy desk and putting it back in its location. And we'll try and power it up. Okay, so that's the transformer back in and connected. I, I use this hole here actually to, uh, I just put the, see these uh, fixing uh, bolts. Just put them over the top of that hole and, and thread them in from the underneath. Screw them in from underneath, so it's quite ha quite handy. Okay, so let's get that button back up and uh, power it up. Okay, so let's um, let's get this up and running. that count down. Two minutes to go and just to let you know that it wasn't booting up, it wasn't starting up so after the, the tubes were warming up it just cut out after that on I think it was 14.3 or 14.4 volts so let's see what happens this time. Here we go, moment of truth. Please. Oh, good. 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 So that's that looks like that it's worked. You can see the mains voltage here is 241 volts, so it, it, it was right to change the tap. So that should be down to the proper voltage now, so it was too high before. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll uh, maybe post another video if, uh, any, if there's any changes, but that looks like it's resolved the issue.